Okay, so here's another update for Project for the Web, or how we now are going to call it, Planner Premium. Uh, Microsoft is working very hard on combining three applications, To Do, Planner, and Project for the Web. So with this new installment, uh, they're actually combined not only in Teams, but also in the cloud. So let's explore. So from a personal point of view, I'm very happy with this new update because just recently I had a change of licenses with my Microsoft account with uh, the project corner. So I used to have Microsoft Teams, but now I have a subscription that doesn't have Teams. So I wasn't able to see the new planner features in Microsoft Teams. But now we can access planner.cloud.microsoft, which is the new way of looking at cloud services from Microsoft. And they're rolling that out across the board, I think. So good morning. What will the day bring? This is actually to do. And as we know, Planner is now a consolidation of to do, Planner, and what used to be called Project for the Web. Now, Project for the Web now is called premium so we have a planner premium experience which we'll take a look at later today so this is the interface and if i would go into a new uh, browser tab and i would type in planner you can still see that old lovely green icon uh, however there are instances and i have an example here where if I navigate to a new tab and I click on planner, I have that new purplish and a slightly tilted version of that planner, um, planner icon. So this is something that will uh, come across the board, of course, but uh, currently we still have these um, old uh, icons for some of the uh, customers and new icons for others. So let's take a look. Uh, and I already wrote the script. So this is my to-do experience inside Planner, and it is a lightweight scheduling solution here. Well, no, it's a lightweight task management solution here, uh, which has the option of creating new tasks. Talk it about to do so this is something that is now in progress you also have the not started in progress and completed scenario just like we have in our planner solution so let's set that to in progress and i will add this as being complete that also gives me a check mark it strikes through it tells me how many tasks i've completed today which is all very nice. And I can see that this is private tasks. So this is only something that I, as Yannick van Herk, will see in my planner scenario. So this is interesting. How can we make this a part of a larger schedule or a larger plan? Well, I found out that if I open up the details, uh, I can see that I can add buckets because I cannot add buckets because that's something that planner does. So there's a limited set of things that I can do with a to do task. Of course, here's a note that will show up. I will assume. And here we have that in the quick look that we know from planner and project for the web. Let's see if I can add a item. Two. Okay, so this seems to be working just like we expect to see that in uh, um, Planner and Project for the Web, Planner Premium. I'll do that across the board probably because I'm used to saying Project for the Web, but of course it's Planner Premium now. So we have the checklist. One of two items has been completed. I do not have a add attachment option for a to-do action. So that's interesting. So here we have the checklist. We have the note. If I click view note, it opens up that in uh, that information pane. 
there's a more option and in here I can move this task I can move that task for for instance TPC and if I do I can click on TPC and it will show up let's let's move that to my backlog and see where that uh, that goes so it's out of the my day scope so it's out of the planner so it's out of the um to do scope uh but it returned what happened let's see so this is my tpc upload schema and it has all the things that i would love to talk about with you um and here is the backlog let's see if it's all the way down i don't see it anywhere that is interesting so maybe i should test that again with a little bit better text so post video on tpc that sounds like something that i would move to my uh, tpc and then making the video sorry that's dutch but now there's three and uh, making the video should show up in here it doesn't show up yet and if i move back to my day it's still it's not showing up here either that's interesting all right so let's let's figure out where that went uh a little bit later so my tasks actually goes across different projects or different plans as we are now going to call it so assigned to me private tasks uh talk a bit about to do well that is now officially done post the video on tpc oh what wow. here is that task and i can i remove from my day so it's back on my day yeah so it's back on my day which is interesting because we moved it right so we might not be able to move a to-do task to a planner task but can we do that with others that's an interesting so let's say that i moved in baseline from dataverse and let's move that to a program project one let's see if that's possible nope it's grayed out it doesn't work all right interesting move tasks something that we cannot do currently all right so the my tasks gives me everything that is assigned to me and i can see that if i open up uh, the information it gives me the eric van herk as an assigned user i see the different types of tasks so the, there's the private tasks the ones that i just created which are automatically assigned to me then there is a baseline from dataverse there's a project or a program there's issues to do issue tasks something i did with mpug um, and on the left side we can see different types of icons so what i figured out is that the purple ones are actually premium plans and the blue ones are actually just planner plans so that tpc upload schema was a planner plan which is correct and the uh, gluten app is also one but the premium plan created through teams back in the day where, where i still had teams is something that is a premium plan and how can i see that well can i see that i have a baseline yeah and i have copilot yes and i have a timeline so these are three easy ways to figure out if this is a premium plan do you have a timeline do you have baseline options and do you have copilot 
and copilot of course i already did a deep dive session about the baselines and copilot but just like uh, this i can add a task to draft a status mail draft a status mail and you get that little uh, hue or this little shadow just before it turns into a real task that I can uh, undo or retry and anything like that. For the deep dive session about Copilot and Planner, take a look at that video that's on screen somewhere, probably right now. So draft a status mail. So this is a premium task. Um, I can also try and look at all my plans. So we have my tasks, which is everything that's assigned to me, rather from to do planner or planner premium or my day planner and planner premium and here i can see all the schedules or yeah all the schedules or plans that are assigned to me and i can see all of these are uh, premium plans and this is a normal schedule then there's also the project corner here what does that mean well that is a shared with so that is a group or a uh, office or microsoft 365 group where it is assigned to so people within that group will have that uh, access as well good so if i click on new plan now i have the option to see templates i also have the option to start a blank basic schedule and and i keep calling them schedules because i think this is a schedule not a plan a basic plan or schedule is just planner and a premium plan is a schedule with project for the web functionality such as baselines and copilot so that is planner premium it also says that here that Copilot is still in preview, right? Then down below, I see different types of templates. The simple plan that we've used previously is a basic plan. And the sprint planning is actually something that's a premium. You see that with that diamond there. I also noticed that if I have the see all templates option, I can see more information about that. I can see that it's a basic template. I can see what's included. And I found out that if I click on the project management, I have both a basic and a premium option, which is of course very fun to explore. So the commercial construction is a premium plan. And if I use that template, I can give it a name uh, and I can add it to my pinned plans which will show up on the left and I can add it to a group and I typically do want to do that the project corner because then I already have that list of resources available to work on that plan together with me it will also show up as shared with the project corner just now created and here we have that schedule very nice. If I go to the timeline, I can see that it actually has a very nice construction. And what's this? This is interesting. It has that because I can open that. And if I close it, it shows you that it has follow up tasks that are inside a closed summary. Uh, I remember seeing that in the past. So I have uh, the option to go to grid. I can set a baseline, create a baseline, baseline one. And do I have the option to save that? I don't need to. Uh, and I have a copilot option here. So this is a premium plan. Yes, very good. Um, it turns up green. And the reason why it turns up green is because the project corner group is actually green. So if it's not linked up to a schedule, it will turn purple and you'll have a premium plan uh, indicator. But if you have it linked up to a group, you might uh, not see it directly. 
Um, so that is Planner Cloud Microsoft. I hope you like this video. It's an introduction video to this new way of approaching Planner and Planner Premium and to do. I think it's a nice step up for Microsoft to have this consolidation of everything related to work inside one location, a planner. I do have a couple of wishes and seeing as, as it's in November, 2024, when I'm uploading this video, I will also follow up with a wish list for Christmas for planner premium and planner. So keep an eye out for that. And thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.